All About Sharks, Day 3. Today we are using an informational article to identify what the author wants to answer, explain, and describe. We are practicing summarizing and creating complete responses when we answer. Let's take a look at yesterday's task. Yesterday you needed to use pages 3 and 4 to answer the two questions that I assigned. Let's take a look at our first question. Over here on the right, it says, page three of our text gave us information about how sharks hunt and eat. Explain completely how sharks hunt and eat. Well, boys and girls, after reading the part of the text over here on page three, I went back to my question and I thought about rest and wrap. And I came up with, sharks are great ocean hunters. They have an excellent sense of smell. Sharks use two nostrils above their mouth to smell. Almost all sharks eat meat. Fish, plankton, krill, seals, and other sea animals make up their diet. They use their sharp teeth to chomp chunks of meat and swallow the chunks whole. Sharks are super hunters. I used my concluding sentence down here by using my opinion. They are great hunters. And I stated that by saying super hunters. You can do that too. On the next one, you used page four, which talked about baby sharks to answer question number two. Page four gives us lots of information about baby sharks. Write a paragraph about baby sharks. Again, I went back and I read page four and I used it to create a paragraph. Baby sharks are called pups. Some pups hatch from eggs and some pups are born alive. Some sharks can have 100 pups at a time. Pups take care of themselves when they are born. They do not need their parents to help them survive. Baby sharks or pups are interesting. Again, with my concluding sentence, I wrapped it up by stating my opinion, by saying that they are interesting. Again, I was very pleased with how you did your work yesterday, and I'm so proud of the progress that you've made. Let's take a quick look at our vocabulary for this week because it's going to help us with our article that we're going to be reading today. Cartilage, flexible and tough tissue that covers the shark's body. Fin, a paddle-like part of a fish's body used for steering. Gills, slits on a fish's body that are used to take in oxygen, krill, very small creatures in the ocean that are the main food source of some fish, and plankton, little plants and animals that drift in the sea. Today we're going to move our focus to an article and we're going to talk about a whale shark. Have you ever heard of a whale shark? Whale sharks are the largest fish in the ocean, they are sharks, not whales. They do not have sharp teeth. And you can see whale sharks at the Georgia Aquarium, just like me and Miss O'Reilly did last summer. Here we are at the aquarium. Here are two pictures that I chose. Here are Miss O'Reilly and I over at the aquarium. And this was our first peek at a giant whale shark that was swimming through the aquarium. It was so cool to see. Today's task, read the article about whale sharks. I've included the article and a video of me reading aloud the article on Edsby. Complete the graphic organizer using complete sentences. This is a little bit different. Today you're gonna to focus in on three target areas, but I'm looking for you to answer completely. Question number one asks you to describe the physical trait of a whale shark. Over here, Ms. Kelly P. just wants to remind you that physical traits describe what the whale shark looks like. These are things that we can see. I hope you enjoy this. Can't wait to see your work.